In this video, we will configure our Parse application to support push messages. Please uh, go to uh, parse.com and then uh, log in into your account and uh, click on Go to your applications uh, dashboard. Here under Parse, I have three different applications and I'll go to the one I want to enable uh, push application uh, uh, to work with. I'll go to my app, for example, and then click on settings. Under settings, on the left side, a navigation menu, we want to select push. And the very first option we have here is push notifications. Now, uh, there are different ways to send push notifications with Parse. One of them is to send using uh, Parse um, web console. Another one is to use a REST API. And we can actually send push messages from other clients, from a mobile application, for example. So if we want to be able to send push messages from a client enable application, then we want to select this uh, to a yes. I'm going to turn it to yes because I'm going to show how to send push messages from a mobile application as well. Now, uh, the next step, uh, but uh, yes, and the um, parse does not uh, recommend to leave um, this option uh, on uh, in the production. And you can read more about it why, uh, but for the development purposes and for testing purposes, um, it's uh, safe to keep it, uh, to keep it on. Uh, okay, for the, um, the next section is Apple um, push certificates. And here we will need to upload the P12 file that we've generated a few minutes ago. So I'll uh, select uh, this blue button to upload my uh, P12 uh, file here. I'll select it and choose to upload. Once the file is uploaded, uh, we will be able to see the file name and the bundle of uh, identifier to make sure that this is the app we are configuring push notification for and the certificate tab, which is um, at this point is iOS uh, development type certificate. And once we are ready to um, uh, release our app to production, we will need to upload a new certificate, which is going to be iOS um, production certificate. Okay, and this completes our configuration for iOS application. The options below we have are one for Android, and um, it's a Google Cloud Messaging and one for Windows. But because we are configuring our application, uh, because we are configuring push notifications for iOS application, um, this is the last section we needed to configure with Parse. So let's go ahead and configure our mobile application now so that we can test push notifications.